has now shows us how one local doctor used Facebook to connect with strangers. Mike Silverman's public Facebook posts were infrequent at best. A family photo here, new profile picture there, and a group shot of the emergency department staff party. Dr. Silverman leads the Virginia Hospital Center's ER. On March 13th, 2020, those occasional posts turned into weekly reports from the front lines. One read, coronavirus is in the community. And this started, I was sure I was going to die of COVID. Uh, and that's just, you know, I'm an ER doctor, I think in worst case scenario. He documented what he saw and snapped blurry pictures from a cell phone camera inside a plastic baggie, letting the community know about the real battle being fought. There is nothing that any of us have seen in medicine that comes close to COVID. On March 28th, 2020, an ominous premonition. I suspect a year from now, every one of us will be touched by this disease. Maybe a family member, maybe a friend or coworker, but we'll all be touched. It was clear to me very early on that there was a, a need in the community for some information that was coming from doctors and healthcare sources that was apolitical and honest and accurate. The weekly updates gained likes, shares and comments from the community. I don't know you, but thank you, one woman wrote. Over 15 months, the death toll increased, but resilience remained. Just amazing. It, it really is just amazing when you think about the, the nurses who are really much more on the front lines than the docs. Dr. Silverman is vaccinated, and that fear of death is in the background. But COVID lives on. I think it will dissipate from the headlines in the community and people won't be thinking about it as much as kids go back to school and sports and work. But for us here, it's going to be a part of our, our daily life for a long time. Victoria Sanchez, 7 News.